Welcome back. Understanding different types of advisors and what they can do to help make sure that you make a wide decision when choosing who you want to manage your money. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers joining us now to explain the difference between the two types of advisors. First off, good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Scott. How are you? I am doing well. Tell us, first off, what are the two types of advisors? Well, those two types, you've got a fiduciary, and then you've got a suitability standard advisor. Fiduciary, there's somebody that's required to act in your best ethical, legal, and moral best interest. Simply put, they're going to do what's best, to be, uh, best for you. They're going to put your interest ahead of their own. Now, a suitability standard advisor, that's a different ball game. They can put their interest ahead of yours or their firm's interest ahead of yours. It's, it's frustrating there. You know, with that suitability standard, it's just got to be suitable. It doesn't have to be best. Yeah, so suitable for them may not necessarily be suitable for you. So I kind of get it from what you're saying, but I guess spell it out. Why is working with a fiduciary financial advisor maybe a lot more important? Well, it's peace of mind. You know, their compensation, it, it's aligned with your success. You know, when they do better or when you do better, it's the same thing. So if your account is going up, they can make more money. If your account, account is falling, they'll make less. Now, with that suitability standard advisor, if the market's going down, they're, they can be the only ones making money because they can make you know big commissions. They're going to act more as a salesperson, kind of feel like they're per, you know, pushing products on you. So you're always wondering, uh, what's the deal? How do you even know if your advisor is a fiduciary? Can they just say, hey, I am, or is that totally unethical? Or how do you go about that? Well, it's, it's a little bit difficult there. So some will act under both standards, and they don't have to tell you when they take one hat off and put one hat on. You just got to specifically ask them, and they should you know, tell you, yeah, I'm fiduciary only, or I can wear those two hats. You want an advisor that only wears one hat, you know, somebody that's, that you can trust, and they're going to help you navigate retirement. One of the best ways to do that is ask around. I know you're a fiduciary yourself, and that's always good because the more people who say, hey, here's who I go to, basically they do this. And if you don't get any of the negatives, I guess you're more so good to go, right, Mike? Definitely. All right, Mike Reeves, Strategic Wealth Designers. Did I say that wrong? You said it right. Did I say that? You said it right, Scott. <laughs> it's been a long week already, and it's only Wednesday, Mike. <laughs> we appreciate your help as always. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. All right.